Well hello there, this is Jitter Tree Time here and uh, you're here to witness one of the most boring videos ever made. Even the washing machine noises are a little bit more interesting. Well, to some people, but some people like this sort of stuff so I will continue on and stop blathering. Anyway, tonight you're going to be witnessing this clock that is radio controlled to go back one hour at two o'clock because it's technically the 30th or something that when the clocks go back and such like that, I don't know. Hang on, let me just check that theory. Yes, because the uh, last day on Sunday is when the uh, clocks go uh, backwards at two o'clock. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip ahead and actually get to two o'clock or near two o'clock and then watch it go backwards. Now, what I've learned from the last time is I think it was one o'clock last time that it went backwards. So I think it will have to go like 10 minutes past or five minutes past two before it actually, you know, goes backwards. So at the moment in time, it is near 10 to 12, as you can tell by the clock uh, from the accuracy of it. I also have a digital clock as well, but I will do that another year or something. I don't know. But at the moment in time, this is working to an advantage and uh, I've only changed the battery once in this uh, from, I don't know, I think February. I don't know when I got this thing. It is so long back now. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that get to near two o'clock and then we'll continue on and see it go backwards. Hopefully you won't hear any washing machine noises or anything like that because um, it would have completed its task. Right guys, it's now two o'clock in the morning and we'll wait till the big hand gets to five or near five when it actually goes forward around and then it um, goes back one hour apparently so uh, we could sit here and wait I actually did a video clip that you're not going to see now uh, in this clip because um, I don't think I should have put it in but it, I actually recorded it at one o'clock so I thought the clock would do the same as before which was five past one or whatever and go back an hour that way but it's two o'clock so it would make more sense to do it that way because then it would be full hours in the months. I don't know. But anyway, we'll wait for it to go forward back an hour, if, if you can call it that. <laughs> right. Imagine watching this on DV tape. That would be real cool. It would look really bad, though. Again, my phone camera looks like it's on DV tape when it pixelates and slows down, so... I don't know. The last time I did a, a video clip of this, by the way, I did it on the S6. So, yeah. And to be honest with you, I like the camera on the S4 more. As you can tell, I am biding time, like, or, you know, talking to buy time or whatever, because uh, it's boring just to listen to white noise or my refrigerator or whatever. Fridge, refrigerator, Jesus, I'm not even American. Fridge. <laughs> there we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 it's better than the job centre waiting music, eh? So yeah, not long now. I think it gets... I think the second hand gets to the five or the seven before it starts to turn. Because that's what I recognised from the last video. Oh no, maybe it's the eight. No? Waiting for it, wait for it. Unless it goes to the top. That just shows I haven't watched my videos properly. Oh, the digital clock's gone back one hour. Oh yeah, it's probably six minutes past or something, it then turns. It's over the seventh bit that the second hand gets to. 
or the eighth. <laughs> Just guessing, as you can tell. Maybe it's waiting for a signal. I don't know, but I always keep saying this. It's waiting for a signal or something because I plainly don't know what I'm talking about when it comes up against this. Oh, my clock is a little bit fast. That's probably why it's a little slow. Oh, my uh, computer hasn't gone back. I think there's something really wrong with Windows. It doesn't want to go uh, back one hour. It told me that, you know, the clocks go back or something like that. But both machines are doing the same where they're either, I don't know, they're, just, they're displaying the wrong time. Hope it's not interference. Oh, there we go. My system clock on my uh, computer has gone back one hour. But it still says one o'clock when it's actually eight past. Something's really wrong with my system OS. I don't know what's wrong with it. I really hope there's no radio interference. That's probably what it is, radio interference with the clock. Maybe it's the lamp beside it that's doing it. I heard LEDs can do that. Ugh, LEDs. I have to go back to the old compact fluorescent or whatever. Actually, no, they were worse. Crikey, this is taking forever. Like 12 minutes past 1 according to this, it's 12 minutes past 2 according to that thing. <laughs> according to my system time, it's 4 minutes past. I really hope I don't have to take the battery out and to put it back in to do it. That was so. Okay, that's never happened before. And I don't even know if I would upload this now. But that's interesting. Very interesting. This clock is not changing time. We're on the right day because the digital clock changed. And look, I'm not impressed. Hmm, I might have to come back to you and see what I can do about it, but that heavily sucks. That really does suck. I was hoping my clock would work to changing itself. That's embarrassing, to say the least. That is embarrassing. I know. Just to give you a show anyway, let's take this clock down to get the battery. Reset it. Put it back up somehow. I've reset the clock, but I shouldn't have really done that. It's supposed to change on its own. I don't know, maybe there's interference from the lamp that's next to it. I really hope it's not, because I don't want to move it. This is the first time that the radio clock has let me down. Before it was alright. I mean, come on, it was alright. But as you can see, look, it's actually going to the 12 because it's resetting. Uh, I've yanked the Tesco battery out of it. It can't be the battery. The battery's fine. But if there's a problem with the battery, it would be behind three or four hours. Because it does. I don't know, maybe it's the LED lamps. I might have to revisit this video.
As you can see, look, it's actually um, turning around to hopefully the correct time. But again, I shouldn't have really have done that. Should do itself. It's embarrassing <laughs> that I had to do that. The radio clock that's digital worked fine. Yeah, again, it is in the window, and this is not in the window, it's actually on the wall. I don't know. Maybe you can answer below what happened. I mean, <laughs> the digital clock worked fine, though. At least that changed. I didn't see it, but it changed. Yeah, again, all it has to do is put a number backwards, and that's that done. This has to turn like this to change it. Alright, sit at 12. Gonna wait for the signal. But you will get a clock show. Hopefully it will change to the right time. I don't know, maybe maybe the view that's changed the clock times has gone terribly wrong at their service at this time. Maybe all the clocks have malfunctioned it. Maybe this is a different clock make. Well, not clock make, but a clock. Uh, server or whatever they use to bandwidth the uh, signals and, and stuff. I'm going to shut up. I'm just glitching out here. And just can't believe it didn't work. Maybe it's not the clock's fault. Maybe it's something really wrong with the, the, the clock server or whatever they use to get this working. I'm going to improve my theory again. Turn these on and see if it does anything to it. Technically half past one, so let's just hope it doesn't do this next year in October or whenever the next Sunday is for the clock change in October. I don't know. I laugh at a theory that someone once said about robots taking over the planet. Well, techno machines are kind of, but remember who made them, guys us. So we can control at any time unless something goes completely wrong. And to be honest here, really. We can't even set a damn clock automatically in this day and age. Come on, and we can't even get Microsoft to change the times on their stupid service to get the work on our side without glitching out. Can't even turn off the automatic stuff anymore, so it'll just do itself when I change it. So, yeah, absolute BS that people talk, honestly. Anyway, it's starting to change now. And I don't want this to happen again, clock. No one knows it will go to summertime still. It's still a fault, probably. Nope. There we are. And the time now is 1.32 or something. I'm so sorry about this, folks. Something under my... Con well, not on... Whatever. <laughs> See you guys later. Thanks for watching.